Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at last day of September Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is partition to k equals some subset. So the input given here is an integer array nums and an integer value k and we have to return true or false if it is possible to divide the given array into k equal parts whose sum are all equal. So let's consider the first example. If you see we have to divide the array into four equal parts. So if we divide 5, 1, 4, 2, 3 and 2, 3, all the sums are equal and we have divided it into 4 equal sums. So we are going to return true. So let's see how we are going to approach this problem. So here is a given example in the problem statement. So we have to divide this array into 4 equal parts of equal sums. So to divide the array into equal parts, we first know what would be the each subset sum. Then only we can put the elements accordingly into the bracket. So now before getting to find what is the sum of each subset, we have to find whether we can divide them into equal four parts or not. So here the total sum of the array is 20. So we have to divide the whole array into four equal parts. So 20 reminder 4. If the 20 reminder 4 is equal to 0, then it is possible to divide the array into four equal parts or k equal parts. If not, we can directly return false because we cannot divide the array into equal parts. So here 20 by 4 is giving you reminder 0. So it is possible to divide the array into four equal parts. So now by guessing this, you can easily find what would be the subsets sum. So 20 by 4 would be 5. So 5 would be each subsets sum. So now our job is simple. We have to put the elements equally that sums up to 5. So now starting with the first element 4, we have to explore with the rest of the array what would be its pair to make the sum up to 5. So now we are going to check uh, which pair would actually make it to 5. So now 4 is it first. We are going to explore 3, 2, 2, 3, 5, 2 and 1. So now starting with 3, if you add 4 with 3, then the sum would be 7, which is greater than 5. So you cannot pair it with 3. Then goes to 4 plus 2. This is also greater than 5. Then goes 4 plus 3, which is again 7. Then 4 plus 5, which is 9. 4 plus 2, which is again more than 5. So finally, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this makes one pair that sums up to 5. So we found our first subset out of 4. So now what we do, our k is equal to 3 because we found 1. So k minus minus is 3. We need to find 3 more subsets and we are going to set the first pair to true that is visited. So we don't have to include these two elements again in the next subsets. And the first subset is 4 comma 1. So there comes our next element 3. We have to check which one would pair with 3 to make it to 5. So fix the next element. 3 plus 2 is 5. So we found our next pair. So we are going to add that to our subset. And we are going to set the places to true. And we still have two more subsets to find. So there comes our next element which is 3. Adding 3 plus 5 will not give you 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So we found our next subset which is 3 comma 2. And we have one more subset to find now. And we set this to true. So if you check we have only one more element left of sum 5. So that is going to be our next subset. And we found our subsets, 4 subsets. And we divided the array into 4. We don't have any more elements left because all the cells are updated to true. So we are going to return true as our output. So clearly we here did a backtracking DFS where we took one element and explored every other element to match whether it paired with the element to make the sum to 5 or not. So we are going to explore each and every path and update our k accordingly. Once our k becomes 0, then we finished our array and we have to return true. So this is going to be a simple DFS code. Let's explore the code more while we are coding it. And hope you are understanding this concept. Let's go to the code now. So we are going to use a recursive DFS. Let's 
initialize the basic variables. So first let's calculate the sum and find the target and whether it is possible to divide the array or not. So we directly return false if the remainder is not equal to zero or the maximum number in the array is greater than the subset sum we found. If not, if it is true, then we are going to call our helper method which is nothing but our DFS, which is going to explore every number to find its pair. And this new Boolean array to mark the whether the cells are visited or not. Now let's spend some time in writing our helper method. So now we are getting the target sum that is sum by k of each subset and uh, visited array to keep track of what are the elements we have already used in our array and index is to start from the zeroth index and travel to the last index. So first we are going to check the base condition that if our k becomes zero then we find found our uh, subsets then we are going to return true. If any point k cannot be zero or uh, less than zero then we did not found our uh, subsets. But that can be a case because we are negotiating if it is false already. So now there comes our calculation of sum that current sum is going to keep track of the sum till it reaches the target sum. Once it reached the target sum, it is going to calculate the new subset. So if we reached current sum as the target sum, that is that means we have found our new subset. So we are going to call recursively the same function to find the rest of the subsets. So we found one subset, then our k is going to uh, decrement 1. Target sum is going to be same and current sum is reset to 0 because we found 1 and we are going to initialize it back to 0 to found the next one. So we are going to iterate the given array and every time we are going to consider each element if it is not already visited. If it is already visited, we are simply going to iterate to the next element and which means we are visiting that element and going to find its pair. So we first set visited to true and then we are going to add the sum to the current sum. If that works, then we are going to return true. If not, we are going to reset it back to false because if the sum can be considered and that is within range and if we explore the path and that can be part of that subset, then it is going to be true. If not, we are going to reset it back to false. So here is where we do the backtracking. And finally, if it doesn't reach zero and return true, then it has to be false. We cannot find. Then we finally going to return false. Yes, this is it. Let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, a solution is accepted and runs in one millisecond. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.